This idiot atheist reads Bible verses. We're going to do, we're going to faith define and exemplify. And of course, you know, as we're going to tie in with the social justice wars and all this other crap, right? But here we go. This is, again, you can go to kingjamesbibleonline.org. KingJamesBibleOnline.org, and you can find this verse in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And please read the whole thing. Read more of the, you know, the chapter. Please do that. But it's basically going to tell you, you know, you know a Abel offered to God, uh, you know, through faith, you know, the meat offering, that's why his was accepted. And Abraham, through faith, and all this stuff. Basically, faith is gullibility. You have no evidence, no proof, or anything. Of course, faith does not work in science. You have to have evidence, empirical evidence. Everything has to be peer-reviewed. Other scientists are going to do your research, and if you, you know... But as the results of stuff, you're going to get outed, you're going to get ostracized, you know, and discredited. If you fudge the results. Of course, if you just were wrong, and you accept the fact that you're wrong, that's different. You know. Theists are gullible, is what this is saying. This is what, just what your Bible is saying. Not what I'm saying. It's what your Bible is saying. You have to be gullible. You know, you just automatically just believe. No proof, nothing. You just got to believe because it's in my heart. The Holy Spirit tells me that my God exists. My God exists because the Holy Spirit tells me He does. It's, it's the same thing with several, uh, social justice warriors, you know. Their beliefs are on faith. They have no evidence. You know, they'll tell you about the gender gap. They have no proof. Of it. They never give you proof. They'll say about 77%, 66%. They don't give you proof of it. And they don't give you, show you how they got that evidence. If they do give you any evidence, which they won't. And of course, they don't let you know, you know, hey, men tend to work longer hours. Because and men can't, most companies don't give paternity leave. They give mater, maternity leave, but not paternity leave. Not to mention that men tend to take the more higher, more risky jobs, generally. They don't tell you that. The social justice warriors just automatically believe they're right. You can find so many videos of them attacking people. I mean, they are, not all of them, but the majority of them are extremely violent, vicious. You see them wearing, you know, the black clothes, hood, black, you know, covering themselves, they spit on people, attack people. The professors, again, Hebrews 11 verse 1 applies to them. Yes. They're that verse, because most of the stuff, like you learn gender studies, you know, the women's studies, gender studies, and classes like that, it's all on faith. It's all opinion. Faith and opinion are basically the same thing. Because you got to have faith that your opinion is right. That's why they attack free speech so much. Because they know that what they say will not end up, stand up to scrutiny. Now, I'm not saying that the right is any better if they're not, okay? I'm sorry, but social justice warriors are not all liberals. There are conservative social justice warriors, theist social justice warriors, because basically they want rights and privileges for their group, and they'll demonize any other group. That is a social justice warrior. They want social justice, but only for certain people. The liberal ones just want it for minorities and women. They don't give a flying crap about whites or males. They don't care. Listen to this. They can't back up none of this stuff. It's just all hate, hate. They won't debate anybody. How can they debate? They're going to lose. Well, and same with these people. Theists. You see theists all the time when they debate. When at least theists have the courage to debate people. But still, they their religion is all on gullibility. Gullibility. Let's see if we can find that verse again. Hebrews eleven one. No, obviously I'm not going to even bother looking for it. it doesn't matter. I'll be right back. And really, if you think about it, if you really think about it, most of what you see in the media, again, you have to take it you on know, faith, gullibility that everything they're saying is right. And you ever notice that liberal media, you know, people who are liberal, they think that their version of the media, you know, is right. Conservatives, they have theirs. Neither, if they would just talk to each other, civilly talk to each other, 
they would realize that, hey, we can't be right on every damn thing. And actually listen. I don't care if, the media, if you listen to conservative media, liberal media, whatever. Those are just talking heads that really just giving, they're just opinion pieces now. You know, Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, Brett Bart, or whatever. I don't know all their names. I don't even care. In my opinion, yeah, my opinion, but I still think it's true because I can back up that up because I can listen to any of these talking heads on TV. They are all just giving you opinions, and it's all based on faith. Mine, what I just said, is not based on faith because I can listen to them and tell you, hey, they give you listen to what they say. You remember that we were told that Trump wasn't going to win. Hillary Clinton had 97% chance a victory and Trump this, Trump that, Trump is going to quit, Trump is uh, falling out of control, Republicans are going to die, the Republicans are going to die, the Republicans are going to, you, do, you remember that? I believe it was CNN that was telling us, that. I don't remember exactly which one of those liberal ones, I don't even give a crap. Same with, the, I don't listen to conservative media, I listen to both, I don't listen to them as in believing them. I remember that. Conservatives, this is the end, end of the conservative party, uh, of the conservatives, of the uh, Republicans. And then, of course, you hear from the other side, liberals are anti-American. They want to take away our gun rights and all this stuff. And yet, I work with liberals that own guns. Go figure. That's why it's all faith. What they're saying is based on faith. They truly are gullible enough to believe what they're saying. Now, there are some, of, uh, some people like me, I realize I could be wrong about a lot of things I believe. That's why I don't mind people telling me I'm wrong. I've watched as many videos on YouTube as I can. Uh, and this is the thing. This is what I suggest. I know most nobody's going to do it. But try to read books and watch videos on things you disagree with. You know? Think about it. And also, I like to recommend the Federalist Papers. Hell, read Mein Kampf. Yeah, read Mein Kampf, because that gives you a huge hint on what Hitler thought. And you'll be, it is scary to hear what he says and what the social justice warriors are saying, because they hate free speech. They think free speech is shutting down someone else speaking. And of course, autobiography. Benito Mussolini's autobiography. You want to know what fascism is? It's these social justice warriors, they're the fascists. They call everyone else fascists. But they are the fascists. Read, read it. Read his... I mean, damn. We're not gonna, I'm not going to pick passages out of it, but... I, but he may, oh, God, I, just, I wish I... Damn it, I missed that part. But basically, as I was saying earlier, you remember how I mentioned how they're wearing black... You got these people that are wearing black shirts, they're wearing black... black sh clothes and stuff. It's in this book! They're wearing black! That's Mussolini! Fascism! Guys, if you don't believe me, get the, my autobiography with the political and social doctrine of fascism. Benito Mussolini. This one I got at the um, at Dover Publications. You probably can get them anywhere, but... You want to know what fascism is? It's that. And he was a liberal. It makes it pretty clear, too. And you guys, well, maybe he was a conservative liberal. I don't know what his political views are. I don't really give a damn. He, I might be wrong on that one. I don't know. He, I, it sounds when I was reading it that he was more of a liberal. But because he wanted to control, because liberals do tend to want to control free speech. But then again, so do conservatives. Both sides want to control free speech. They only want free speech for themselves. And of course, the conservatives. Well accused the liberals and the liberals accuse the conservatives and they both act like they care about free speech and neither of them does. It's again gullibility. You gotta have faith that you your views are right. And I don't have enough faith to believe that everything I think is right, which is why I try to go out and learn other opinions, learn what other people believe. This is why I'm willing to listen to other people. And this is one thing that I find funny about these social justice warriors. You know, they don't want groups, you know, hate groups like the Klan, skinheads, and these groups to speak. They do not like it. They don't like that Milo character talking. However, you got the black Hebrews and the new black Panthers. They're on the streets in like Chicago and Philadelphia preaching their genocide of whites. You won't ever see a social justice warrior do a damn thing or say a damn thing about it.
ever. It's like with the Muslims, you know. They don't protect Islam. And the Muslim, I'm not about the Muslim people themselves. I'm talking about the religion. They'll demonize Christianity, but not Islam. Now, and here's the truth about Christians. You know, I despise religion. I despise all religions. Here's the thing about Christianity, okay? If a person kills another, if, if a Christian walks into a Muslim church and kills a bunch of Muslims because they're Muslims and he's a Christian, he's doing it in the name of God, all other Christians will condemn him. He will be arrested and go to prison. If, however, a Muslim walks into a church and kills a bunch of Christians in the name of Allah and the Koran, guess what? Other Muslims will not condemn him. You will not hear condemnation. And many will actually cheer for him. Think about that one. Just think about it. Before you, you listen to all this crap about Christians, 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 Christians. And there's a lot more I want to, I can say, but there's, you know, I can't always remember everything. And I got stuff for other videos. You know, let me see if I can think of something I can get, you know. But seriously, try to educate yourself. Take courses in history and stuff like that. Buy books on history. You know, go to your local bookstore. Learn history. The history you're learning in school is not everything, okay? Because they can't teach you everything. You know, read about the invade, you know, Muslims invading Europe. You know, the beheadings that, you know, all the white folks that were killed that used to live where Turkey is. You know, heads cut off, raped and all that stuff. Or enslaved. Yeah, white people were enslaved by Muslims. Go figure. Uh, bye.